Keith Herring was born in 1958 in Cutstown, Pennsylvania. His parents, Alan Herring and Joan Herring, his mother and father. His dad was an engineer and his mom did not have a job. He had three sisters, Kay Herring, Kristen Herring, and Karen Herring. When he was young, he began to start drawing. His dad would teach him how to draw funny cartoon characters and other cool things. He loved to draw and he was inspired by Walt Disney, Tom of Finland, Pablo Picasso, Dr. Seuss, and Looney Tunes. When he was older, he went to the Ivy School of Professional Art in Pittsburgh from 1976 to 1978. He learned commercial art. While he was there doing his art, he met up with some other famous artists. He got to meet Andy Warhol, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Frank Stella, and Roy Lichtenstein. When he was in New York, he would do chalk drawings and do 40 in one day. When he was in New York painting, he would use bright colors, like primary colors, like blue, yellow, and red. He got in an exhibit in 1981 at the West Beth Painter's Space. And after that, after he got, did that, he got another one at the Tony Shafraz Gallery. He would make l mottos like this. Children knew something we forgot. And, and art should be something that liberates your soul provokes the, the imagination, and encourages people to go further. When Keith was doing his art, he would use the, art, the lines of movement and use it to describe what was going on in his artwork. He also included politics in his art. He would use sheets of paper that were in the newspaper or that got ripped up or scraps, and he would use them and put them on one sheet of paper to make a funny article that might tell people this is what's wrong. When he, he was gay and he never got married because he loved a man, but back then a man could not marry a man. When people discovered the new disease AIDS, they called it, they incorrectly called it the gay disease. And Keith Haring was gay. So he made a protest to stop this. People joined from all over and came to the protest. He made art for the signs. And after the protest, Keith was diagnosed with AIDS. In 1990, at age 31, he died due to the AIDS. A thousand people came to his funeral. My favorite piece is called um, Test Tech. It is about people dancing everywhere. When it has people in it, I really think this really makes me feel like excited. It makes me feel like the movement in it is describing something. That maybe like they had, a, it was a party or maybe a celebration or just maybe something that is nice. One of his famous pieces was called Crack is Whack. It is told on one side, there's one that says Crack is Whack, and on the other, it's the same thing, just a different piece of artwork. And then, he died later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.